now make the uh, the the clear pockets of course and where i like to start with is make first the hinge so i can decide how far my clear pockets must be so what i will do is grab some paper what you will do and make one two three four five score lines so grab some paper you all do can do that and make five score lines one two three four five now make sure your paper is the same height as your lower black paper and when you have done this then you fold it like this just every each one will go in and out and then we have this now I like to attach first my first um, hinge so I cut this one loose not the top just the bottom now make sure that this flap direct direct that way to the right side and the bottom also direct to the right side if you, not this way not to the left to the right because our paper will flap to the left and if we are making this in here then it will be flap to the left so we glue this one down and I use some extra glue so make sure the upper flap on the right yes now let's decide not too close to the to this side just about three millimeters yep that's enough and when it's steady and white then you can make sure it stays there just wipe your extra glue away when it can now this is our hinge now let's grab our inserts and now we line it up in the first not the, fir not the, not the first but the second one and then I decide This, this, is, this is perfect so I don't have to cut this one off no it's perfect it's a perfect fit now I want the closure be on the bottom so I don't have to closure it twice so I line it up just for my black cardstock on the bottom and I grab just a small um, pen or and then I make a mark where I can cut it and on this side too let's see where is the second one yeah also leave three millimeters on this, this size so 
that should do it for the first one. Let's see if this cutting is also cut through this one. I hope so. So line it up. Yeah. It does. Line it up and I don't like to see the black line so I just want to cut just a little less. Yes. Now let's see if it fits. Always double, 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 double check. So if I put this in here, my, my goodness, it fits. Yeah. So I grab the other one and do the same thing. Just line it up, grab a mark pen you see, and for this one I can measure the same size as this one. That will do it. Now I never throw this away because you never know. Uh, you can use it to make uh, shake cards or for any purpose or pockets. I can make this for a pocket, so don't throw it away because it's too good stuff. Now we are laying our album just for the second away. Because now we are going to make the fun part. We are going to make pockets. So I have my tool for this. And this is a hotfix applicator. I already had it. And I just uh, buy um, this one for it. It was a perfect fit. I really like it and it's the same use as I if you bought a fuse tool so I put it in the electric box and I put my lamp on like that and I put it just on the white spot like that now let's see I first going to cut some papers. So let's begin. I already put it on so I can start with our first pocket, clear pocket page. And um, let's see, um, how do I begin? I begin with this one. I like this one to come so you can pull it out whatever you whenever you like. And here comes our closure. So I believe it's easier to pull out on this, this size. So first I am going to cut because this one is pulling out. So you can pull it out. So what I do is grab my cutting and I leave um, I leave this one put. So I 
really know where I want it to cut. So I line it up and I normally want to see where I cut but just lined it. Just want to Just two, three millimeters above, so you can slide it in and out and grab my cutting knife and I cut this one loose. So that's the first step. Now can take this out for just a moment because now I like to seal the top for our next um, pocket. So for my convenience I turn it around so I, I see where I just cut. And now we are going to seal this one down, close. So I grab my fuse tool and I slightly push, not too fast, not too slow, I did just a little practice, so now this one's loose and this one's shut. Now we have two pockets. but. First we are going to make this one closed because this one is just open and we don't like that. So I close this one so we'll have a little leftover. And with that leftover we can do something else like this. You have enough room to pull it out. Yes. Yeah. Now this one we can decorate just for a little another color is I believe nicer for the background so you grab just a little piece of paper whatever you have in your leftovers and then you cut it on the right size This one is correct. You do need to have space for the closure. So I believe I first close this one because we have to cut it all the way. So I close this one first down, closed, and then I I think this could be just a little smaller, then I can slide it in, yes. So I make two of these, so I, so the background is all, all you can see of course. Then we cut this part so you have the same size. I always like to smooth it. And 
for the extra touch, I do have some, let's see, I do have a little Do I like it? Or don't I? No, I leave it for another. So, slide it in. And then I like to um, move it like so. Give it a real good push so it's on the end. And now I can make this pocket close. So it's just for decoration. You don't, you don't pull this one out. It's really tight. So I hope it stays there. like that. Now for this one, I always like, always, I just did, to use a little stamp with a picture, uh, a photo or a camera on it. So the one who gets this, she knows or he knows that you can put a picture on it. So, now that's the bottom. Let's go. Um, let's zoom a little in. I think I can. Yep, that's better. I think. I think. Now for the upper, um, I want to do this one. I glue this already down. And I like to do this that he or she can pull this also out on the top. So what I will do is make sure you have enough room at the top and now I slide this one. I close that one like so. And first I check if I like this one. Do I like these two or just one? Um, I believe one. So I just make that one. So I go first to this one and then all the way down. I have something in mind with it. So I grab the fuse tool, not too quick, not too slow, and I will and this. Now, what I will do is to, I just leave some um, sequins in it and I have a little stash just came in today so it was perfect to use so I use some the white. Let's see how I can slide it in without many just a little white and a little of these ones. Oh. Oh, let 
You see, I do believe I have a little crown. Also, I like to use in here just a little crown, and I like. Let me see. I like a few oh, 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 gold letters. Which letters that don't mind? I think that will be enough for yes. That's enough. Now I again slide it in. So I know how far it can go. Just shake it. And now I can close it. On there. Like that. And then the sequence don't can't go anywhere you like. So this one comes up and this one comes up. And on the back it's also nice. Now let's continue. Um, what I like to do, I like this one. And I like the circle ones. So if I put that one on this on the bottom, let me think, let me think, let me think. I do like that this one is going to can pull it out. So I first make the background of this one. And then I cut it out. It's really fun to do, but you have to think it just a little bit forward how you like to do it how you like to use the card and how you want to use everything but it's really so much fun let's smooth now for this one they also can leave a picture on it. So this is on top. So my picture, my camera is going to be that way. Yes, it is. Now I want to cut. I want to cut, so I grab my cutting blade again and I slide it underneath my my card as far as I can be, I can get and then I Cut it loose where I want it to be. Oh, 
like that. Yes. And now I let's see. I first close the upper. So for the next one. I first close this one down. Like that. And then I do the side. Like that. Oh my. And then this can be pulled out. <gasps> whoop, 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 whoop. Now you can use another one of this one. You can. You see, so you have two pockets. It can. It's also nice. But. Or you can make the card from, let's see what color I have left. This is too small. This one, mm -mm 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 -mm. I think this one. This one is the same color, but that one is also nice. So, let's see. Let's see what we are going to make with this. Let's first make it the right size. We already have three pictures, and now for the back, I want to use this one. I like. Like so, and let me see, let me think, what do I like, I like it, so you can pull it out, but I like to decorate it with, with some of these.
me see. I believe I did have that little touch. Oh my. This one's glued down. Can't open it. Yes. Yes, how do you think of that? I really like it. <laughs> like it, I like it. <laughs> now, clean my hands. Yep. And for now, I just Not that clear. I had to make it first. But you get the picture. So I slightly. And then that. That's our first page. So this, 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 and this one you can pull out. And these two are just for fun. Now up to the next, but first I am taking this one just to let it dry so it don't stick to my page. So up to the next, do another one if you like to see. And first I like this one on the bottom. So I cut this away. Now I know with the fuse bits there is also a, a cutting bit on it, but I like to just use my knife for it. I just like it. like this. No. I'll leave all the colors just a moment. Now I first make this closure for the rest of the page. That and then we can do this one. So don't make it too tight. Your car must go easily in and out. So don't make it too tight. Like that. That's our first. Now here I do have a card which I would like to use on the bottom. So I make sure I have enough room and then I close it by 
like that. And then I close this one. And uh, this one you I like to pull it out so it's a small thing that can be slide in. Yes, that I like. And for this one, let's see. This is open, but this one I like to close with some um, some nice things. Let's see. I believe this one is nice. So let me see. Let me see what I can do. This one's too big, but we have small other ones. We have small ones. So if I glue these on top, then I more and it doesn't matter how it goes on top or beneath you just got to let it play because this moves around so we make a little shake back So let's where was mine here? So let's see. I slide this one in and I slide that one and this one. For the rest of it, I just wait because I first want to close this one down for the other sequence like that, so I can wiggle it a lot. Let's see, I do have some crowns and some of these. Let's slide it in. Let's move it around a little. Then, um, really like the pink ones. So I wear. Slide it in. That's enough pink. And then a few of these. And a few black ones, just for the black ones. Not too much. That's enough. Yes, I like. 
just a little pink. Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's see. Yes, that's enough. So we can close it. And on the back, it's also nice, but I believe I like this one on top. <laughs> so, let's close it so we don't come out anymore. I like to see where I cut, where I can seal it. So Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Now I like to give this one on here or on this side. I think on this this side. And I want it on uh -uh -uh. So I think I let me see, let me think, let me see, let me think. No, I like this on top. So I can slide another... Um, another... Um, how do you call this one? Another... Let me see, let me see. I like this one more. And then on both sides. So what must I do? I first make clear that I have enough room for this one. So I first make sure that this is right. And then I close this one down. Yes, and now I can make this one a slide in or a slide in. A, uh, now I like this to be on both both sides. So I think I just manage it to fold this one down and then cut it loose with my hand. I think that is the easiest way to do just a small cut. I hope This will fit. Let's give it a try. Mm, just a little, just a little off. Let's see. Yep. Now it fits, and now I can cut it on the right position. Oh, this is so much fun. Yes, it is. This is fun. This is fun. 
Now if you are a good hand wiring, you can write something down on here for the one you give it to. But that I don't have it on hand, so I don't put anything on it, but if you are, you can. Look at that. Perfect. Yes. And now this will fit. And I like it to be on this side. So I close this one down. And immediately grab the lower, uh, the small part. So, oh, I have my wrong ruler, but that's okay. It did the trick. It did it. And now, slide this one in on the right spot, and then I close this down. Leave enough room to slide it in and out. And then we have just a little left over to do. And for that one I want some green. Green, green, green. Yes, I like the green. Oh my god, please, open. <laughs> yes, this will fit. This will fit. Is it enough? It's enough for the boat side. It's just about a little patchwork. That's all it is. A little measurements. A little comparing where I want something a little decoration really like it so now you see how I make my clear pockets it's that easy really 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 simple if you have a fuse tool of course and now I close this one don't have to come out anymore there you go how cool is this yep 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 now we are going so to let's put our clear pages in and I already did some taping on the boat, boat, little boat size 
and so peel off the first one and I always like to use some extra glue so it really stays put now I slide it in and I think I do the upper also so now now it's finished now we can slide it in and we did use the same size as the the hinge so it must fit so you can put these really nice together so that's the first one yep and the second one we peel off our tape just to Glue, if you like, I like, go out to the other page and slide it in, line it up with the other one and fold it back on top. That's it. So we have one page, two page, and for here I have some design paper. Put it on the right position and it's done. Like that. Now this you can push just a little so the wet glue can stick and dry perfect. Now you can make a decorative slide on here if you like, and I like, but I will do that later on. Yeah! Yes! So, up to the next page. And I still wonder, did I must glue this one down? No, I can't. I think not, otherwise it can be, it can, but it's not that of a big deal, but it can, I think I do, I think I glue these two together, but you see, if you like you can do that same, but up to the last page. 